Look, it's high time you supersize your business, isn't it? Sharon Hornell from here, and our idiom, our expression today is, it's high time. Now, despite changes in people's habits and behaviors, high time doesn't mean it's time to escape from our realities in terms of growing our business. It's time to pay attention, do something that we've been putting off for a long time or that we should have already been doing. It's high time dates back to the 13th century when it was an a farmer's age, an agricultural age, and what high time meant was the it was used to describe the warmest part of the day. And if by high time, I think high noon, if you hadn't been up and about and working around the farm and, and turning uh, and doing things on the farm to to create and cultivate and, and grow your crops and things, you were in trouble. It meant that if you hadn't gotten busy already, you sure better get busy because the day was burning. You were burning daylight, right? That's another idiom or expression about time, burning daylight. So what does it mean? It's high time means that it's time to do something. It's time to actually take action and do something. Um, I don't know about you, but I've heard it's high time a lot of times in my life. It's high time you get married and settle down. It's high time you graduate from college. It's high time you get done with school and get serious about your career and your work life. It's high time you do this or you do that, that you get in a relationship, get out of a relationship, hire somebody, don't hire somebody. What is it high time? What is it a long awaited event in your business? What is something that you need to do that you know will take you to the next level of supersizing and growing your business? Maybe it's hire a, a certain person. Maybe it's revamp a, a part of your business. Maybe it's to add a product line. Maybe it's to focus more on your customers. Maybe it's to enhance the customer experience. Whatever it is, what is it high time for you to do in your business that you know you should be doing and probably should have been doing already, but instead of beating ourselves up over shoulds, what can we do now? What can we do today to move our business in the direction that we want it to? I know there are things in my business that I'm always thinking about doing and wanting to do to enhance it. And I'm waiting for the time to be right or the resources or the people or in the environment or the new batch of customers. But what's stopping me from doing that right now? Very little and it's high time that I stop making excuses and start taking action. So share in the comments below your experience with this particular idiom or expression. Uh, what, what you've had in terms of hearing it in your life. I know I've heard it a lot in different stages of my life especially. It's, it's usually accompanied with someone's judgment of what I should have been doing already or that I've done wrong. And that's okay because people are allowed to give us feedback and feedback helps us grow. So share in the comments below, what is it high time that you started doing in your business? And maybe if you're brave, when you might start doing that that exact thing. I'll, I'll do the same thing because I know there's some things I need to do in my business and I've been wanting to do and I've just been putting off for various excuses and reasons. That's it. Have an awesome day. I will of course be with you tomorrow with another probably time related idiom. I think I'm going to do a series on time because I was researching time. I was trying to think of an idiom for today and I came up with like 39 different time related idioms which I found fascinating but Time is also one of the biggest things that we, it's our, one of our greatest resources and one of the biggest things that comes up time and time again in my coaching and, and consulting. We don't have enough time to do that. We can't do that. We don't have time. We don't have the resources, meaning we don't have the people and the time and the energy to do it. So let's focus on time for a few days, maybe even a month, and see what we can do to improve how we manage, how we handle our time, how we think about time going forward so that we aren't one of those people that are saying anymore. I don't have time. When I say I don't have time, it means I haven't set that as a priority for me. So if somebody asks me to do something, I say I don't have time. Know that that's code for what you're asking me to do is not fitting into my personal priority list right now or my business priority list right now. Not an insult, it's just we all have a limited amount of time and we need to set our own priorities based on what's important to us. All right, that's enough babbling. Have an awesome day and I'll of course be with you tomorrow. Let me know if I can help you in any way or if there's a time-related idiom that you'd like me to do next. Have a great day. Bye.